Hi. I am Alice. I work as a system administrator at Forward Incorporated. My organization needs to secure access to critical data. Different people will have varying levels of access based on their role. One easy way to do this is to implement a more secure password policy for senior management. Let me show you how this can be done. Assume, we have one password policy set for the entire user directory. Say, the main group. Now, that senior management access is critical data. To ensure that the access is more secure, I have to create a separate password policy for that group. Say, the subgroup. So what are the steps involved? In the first step, I need to verify the existing user directory configuration and user details for the main group. Secondly, verify the existing password policy configured for the main group. Then, set the password policy for the subgroup. After that set the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. Finally, I need to validate the working procedure of the password policy set for the subgroup. Now, I will demonstrate the detailed task involved in each step. First, let's browse to the CA SiteMinder Policy Server Administration page. Click Administer Policy Server. Wait until the administration applet gets downloaded. Enter the login credentials for CA SiteMinder Policy Server. Then, click Login. Click User Directories. Double click the user directory set for the main group. The Directory Setup tab shows the domain details for the configured user directory. Click the User Attributes tab. View the user attributes details. For example, car license is the disable attribute and is used to validate the user. Click View Contents. It shows the list of all configured users. Click OK. Again, click OK to close the CA SiteMinder user directory dialog. So, we have verified the existing user directory configuration and user details for the main group. Next, we need to verify the existing password policy configured for the main group. Now, click Password Policies. In this scenario, the password policy configured for the main group is localhost. And the password policy configured for the subgroup is localhost too. First, double-click localhost to view its details. The general tab shows that the password policy is applied to whole user directory. Also note that the password policy enabled state is checked. Click the expiration tab. It shows that the password policy expires if not changed after 15 days. Click the composition tab. It shows the parameter set for password length, repeating characters and for content minimums. Click the advanced tab. Note that the evaluation priority is not specified, because currently, we have one password policy set for the main group. Click Apply and then OK. Try to access the protected CA SiteMinder password services page, as a user, who is the member of the main group. In this scenario, login credentials of user 1 is used. So, enter the login credentials and click Login. The password change request page gets displayed. Enter the old password. To validate enter the new password that does not match us with the password composition of main group. Then, click change password. The error message gets displayed. This indicates that the password policy set for the main group is getting triggered properly. So, we have verified the password policy configured for the main group. In addition, we have validated that the password policy is working as desired. Our next task is to set the password policy for the subgroup. Next, we have to create a password policy that applies to the subgroup of the user directory. And as you know, in this scenario, it is localhost 2. So, double-click localhost 2 to set the configuration details. Select the password policy applies to part of the directory option. Select the enabled checkbox. Click lookup to select the required user. Click search to view the list of users. The search LDAP slash AD directory window gets displayed. In this scenario, user 1 configured in the main group is selected. Now, user 1 will also be the member of subgroup. After specifying, click OK, the user gets added in the contents list. So, again user 1 is selected. Click OK. Click the expiration tab. 
specify the expiration values. Then, click the Composition tab, specify the password composition details. In this scenario, the subgroup users are going to access critical data. So as a best practice the password composition specified is much stronger than the main group. Then, click the Advanced tab. Here, specify the evaluation priority. In this scenario it is set as 10. This is because the subgroup users will access critical data, and the priority for them should be higher than the main group. Also, ensure that you uncheck Apply Lower Priority Password Policies checkbox. To save the changes, click Apply and then OK. We have set the password policy for the subgroup along with its evaluation priority settings. Now, we have two password policies. So our next task is to specify the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. Now, double-click localhost to change the evaluation priority settings for the password policy set for the main group. Click the Advanced tab. Set the evaluation priority. In this scenario, it is set as 2, which is lower than the subgroup. Click Apply and then OK. So, we have set the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. Our next task is to validate the working procedure of the password policy set for the subgroup. Browse to the CA SiteMinder Password Services page. In this scenario, now user 1 is also a member of the subgroup. To validate, let's enter the login credentials of user 1 and click login. The password change request gets displayed. Enter the new password that does not match the password policy composition of the subgroup. Click change password. Error message indicates the mistake. User 1 is the member of subgroup and its evaluation priority is higher than the main group. So, the password needs to comply with the password policy composition of subgroup. Change the password as per the required composition. Click Change Password. Message confirms that the password is changed. Click Continue. The password policy set for the subgroup of user directory is getting triggered correctly, ensuring secured access to critical data. So, we have validated the password policy set for the subgroup and ensured that it's working as desired. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.